What's up guys, Nerd Help Desk here, and today I'm going to be showing you how an arcade machine works. Alright, so here I have an original 1981 Donkey Kong 2 board arcade system. Uh, when I got this, it was pretty messed up, but this is also to show this off, but I also want to show you how an arcade machine works. And it actually works very similar to a computer, but just an old computer. But let's step around back. Uh, the front panel, right here, is where the coin operator, or the arcade owner, would uh, use his key to open the front. And basically he was able to change the volume, and he was able to uh, get the coins. And that's about it. But they would have an ar uh, arcade operator, and he was the one that was allowed out in the back. But here's the original serial right here. Uh, this is a Japanese-made TKG4, uh, usually referenced to the two-board, uh, some FCC stuff. But this is the back panel right here that I've already opened. On the back here, it shows you some stuff about the monitor, some stuff about the monitor, the dip switches and whatever. Uh, the dip switches is what allows you to change how many men you get, how much it costs. Uh, the orientation of the screen and all kinds of stuff. But back here, you basically have three main parts. And the first main part is the power supply. Now this is the original power supply that came with the unit. And that actually is the Donkey Kong manual right there, which is pretty cool. But here is the power supply. Um, as you can see, brings in the wall power, which... You know, it's American 115 volts, and transforms it into much like a PC power supply would into multiple voltages DC, and then that powers the monitor and the boards. Now these are the boards right here. This is a two-board Donkey Kong. Uh, one is dedicated to video, and one is dedicated to just the CPU processing. Um, here's a better view of the board here, if you can see that. Um, but that harnesses to the monitor, which is right here, or the back side of the monitor. Uh, the CRT monitor made by Sanyo, you might have heard of that company before. Um, but the interesting thing is, is that after a couple years, the board that holds all the capacitors for the brightness and stuff, it starts to, uh, the caps start to bust. So I had to go back. It took me about five hours, but I had to disassemble the whole monitor and rebuild it, uh, the circuit boards, with new parts. So that's what's on the back, and all this connects with just your basic wiring system. So let's go to the front here, and let's hope we not overload the, the camera. Okay. So here's my keys. Uh, and then we'll show you what you can do up front. Let's adjust here. Alright, here's what's up front. Uh, I've replaced these Coin Max. These are not the original Coin Max. The company that makes these Coin Max actually still exists. I paid about like $8 for each one, so it's really not that big of a deal. But this was to see how many coins have went through. Since last year, so you could properly calculate the taxes that you had to pay. Uh, you do have to pay coin op taxes in America. This switch right here would give you free credits to test the system. Uh, this right here, let's see if we get a better view here. This right here is a system in which a quarter would fall down, and uh, this would hit the switch, giving you a credit. And I'll show you this running in a moment. And the other one did the same thing. They had two of these just to make sure because these always failed and I don't actually have the original coin box uh, so this is just a Walmart bag and a bucket but it works alright before I turn it on and show you some other cool things here's the actual originals operators manual now these manuals are actually different than what a manual you would get for something today these manuals are actually include schematics and show you basically how every single aspect of this machine works and these are the dip switch settings switches uh, monitors pinouts how everything is put together it's really 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 cool documentation 
how the control panel fits together. Um, it's giving you the different variations of the boards uh, and all the parts uh, on the boards. But yeah, that's the ma manual for mine. And uh, one last thing before we turn her on, and that is the control panel, which is obviously the part that you're most familiar with. Control panel for this one consists of three buttons and a joystick, but you might wonder how actually this is maintained. And the thing is, under here you reach your hand up and you undo two latches on the side, and then that allows you to pull this up. And you just can flip this over. Let me see if I can get this in a more stable position. There, there we go. Okay, so this all runs off switches. It's literally a very simple switch system, the joystick, switches, switches. It's all switches. It goes back to the main board that I showed you earlier. And these are all wired and uh, grounded back to the main system. Also, while we're here, this is where the speaker wires up to the main board as well. Let's go ahead and put this back. And let's fire her on. Now, this actually comes out. The glass is not the original glass. You might be able to tell it's, it's glued on a piece of plexiglass. Um, it actually, you push it up and pull it out, but it's not actually in there because, like I said, I got this in a non-working condition. It was in a very bad condition. But let's go ahead and turn her on. All right. So that purring sound is basically something that comes with Donkey Kongs that were played a lot and operated a lot. There's, there's no way you're going to get rid of it. I think it's like a resistor on some board, but here's the actual game itself. Uh, this is only running at 30 frames per second, so you're going to get that that resolution, you know, scan thing. But as you can see, this is Donkey Kong. Fully working. But I'm going to show you what happens when you put the quarter in, how that actually works. When you put the quarter in, we'll put it through the mechanism here. I don't know if you can actually see that, but it it falls through there, and there's it, it goes kind of like a uh, path to where there's no way only a, a quarter would work, and that sends a signal to the main board, and then the main board has the dip switches to see if it requires two credits, how many men you get. This is actually not set up on regulation right now. It's you get like eight guys or something. And up here is your marquee, where there's a light behind it. This is particularly hard because um, the light was a specific Japanese bulb that I had to get shipped in, and the starter bulb was bad. Oh, I died. So yeah, that is Donkey Kong, specifically, and that's how arcade machines work. If you have any questions about this, I'll be glad to answer them. Uh, I really do enjoy arcades.